Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Bandana Rai and for today's video, I'll be doing a makeup look for a tea celebration. If you didn't know already, this is a tea season. It is a Hindu festival mainly celebrated by women from Nepal and also from North India. It involves lots of dancing, songs and other rituals. I'll be wearing a sort of lehenga made by my mom. It is a pinkish purple top and a long yellow skirt. So for my eye makeup look, those are the colors of eyeshadow I'll be using. And I'll also upload a photo of my whole outfit at the end of this makeup look. So watch till the end guys. I've already finished prepping my skin. So firstly, I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm using Bro Pomade from Essence. Then I'm going to use this highlighter slash concealer from W7, which is about a shade lighter than my skin. I'm applying it around my brows to clean it up and elevate my arch. Before doing my eyeshadow, I'm going to use this eyeshadow base primer from W7 over both of my lids. Then I'm going to use this concealer from L'Oreal and apply it using a sponge. Now I'm going to be using this Chi Chi eyeshadow palette. Firstly, I'm going to use this pink shade and apply it up towards the crease and my brow bone. I absolutely love this palette as it's super pigmented and easy to blend. Secondly, I'm going to use this purple shade from the same palette to deepen both my crease and the outer edge. Then I'm going to use this black eyeshadow named Gothic from Tarte and apply it in my outer corner to smoke out and intensify the look. Now I'm going to use this liquid concealer from 5th Avenue to create a half cut crease look. I'm going to apply it over the half of my lid with the help of this small flat brush. I'm now going to use this yellow eyeshadow from the same Chi Chi palette and apply it on top of the concealer and also go back to the same purple shade and blend the look. To create more definition, I'm going to use this white illuminating eye paint from W7 and carefully outline my half cut crease. Then using a small brush, I'm applying purple shade on top of the white line to make sure it doesn't look too harsh. Now I'm going to be using this gorgeous gold glitter eyeshadow from the Priss Glitter Palette by Revolution and apply it all over the top of my yellow eyeshadow area. Then I'm applying this sparkly light pink eyeshadow in my inner corner. For your other eye, repeat the same steps. I'm sure you know what to do by now and so I'm going to fast forward my video a bit more. I'm applying this white eye paint over the top again to make it stand out a bit more. Before applying false lashes, I'm going to apply mascara on my top lashes. So I'm going to be wearing false lashes by Chi Chi in style of Cindy. And I don't really know how to explain lash applications, so just watch how I do it and hopefully you guys can understand it. So I'm done with my eyes and it's time for the rest of my face. Firstly, I'm going to use this baking oil by Revolution and rub it all over my face. It is really hydrating for dry skin and I really like it since I tend to get super dry skin during the winter. And this also helps give flawless application. I'm using this stick foundation by Revolution as a base by swiping it all over. I really love how smoothly it glides. Then I'm using a foundation brush to blend it all out. I used about a shade lighter than my skin to conceal all the redness and blemishes. For the foundation, I'll be using my favorite which is called the Shiseido Synchro Skin Glow Foundation in the shade Golden 2. I'm applying this using a small brush to apply dots all over my face.
Then I'm going in with this triangle sponge to blend it all up. I really love this foundation because it feels so light and so hydrating and it blends really well on your skin. Then I'm applying this concealer by L'Oreal in the shade True Match under my eyes, tip of my nose, forehead and chin. Then I'm going to blend it up using a different triangle sponge. I'm going to contour my face by mixing the three shades, Moonstone, Jabba and Ebony by SAX. I'm applying it below both sides of my cheeks and cheekbones using a contour brush. Then I'm going to bronze up my face using a brown shade from the LA Colors Contour Palette and also use it to shape my nose. Now I'm going to bake my face using this Cover All Loose Powder from Magical Hollow Cosmetics. I'm applying it using a different triangle sponge under my eyes, bridge of my nose, sides of my cheeks, chin and forehead. Then using a soft brush, I'm dusting it off to create a flawless finish look. I'm using this pink plus from Tarte and applying it on both sides of my cheeks, using a brush from Tarte as well. And using the fan brush, I'm taking the highlight from the same palette and applying it onto my face. Highlight is my favorite part of the makeup, so I like to use it a lot and literally make my face glow. I'm applying black pencil liner in my lower lash line. I also applied purple eyeshadow, but I accidentally deleted that part of the video. Now I'm just going in with the BFF Volumizing Mascara from ColourPop and applying it in both of my upper and lower lashes. Before using lipstick, I like to hide it my lips, so I'm using a strawberry scented lip balm. Then I'm going to be using Chi Chi products for my lip. Firstly, I'm going in with a purple lip liner and line it around my lip shape. Then I'm going in with this purple lipstick and apply it on top. Then lastly for the lips, I'm going in with this gorgeous purple lip gloss from Chi Chi as well and apply it on top of my lipstick to give it that glow and glossy look. So to finish off my makeup look, I'm going to use this Makeup Finishing Spritz Matte from Astralis. And lastly, I'm just using this fan to dry my face. Here is my complete look. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed it and please stay subscribed for more future videos. And before I go, here is some photos and videos from Tea Celebration. So enjoy and I'll see you all in my next video. And as I said before, I've added some photos of my full outfit.